the longer you can daydream, the quicker you can manifest. The longer you can daydream, the quicker you can bring things to pass. And by daydream, we don't mean just spacing out. We don't mean that. We don't mean ignoring your environment around you. But always having that dream in you during the day, during the sunlight hours. Because when you sleep, it will intensify, it will solidify, and it will grow in density. Not necessarily in size, but in density. It will weigh more heavily on your mind. It will weigh more heavily in your life. As a result, you'll start to see circumstances. You'll start to see things, people. Um, you'll start to have thoughts that'll be of a higher and finer quality, of a much lower density, more refined, more ethereal, more unable to be touched, more unable to be uh, intercepted. You'll have, see what you are, is again like those stars in the sky that are portals to the other side. You're a hole in the ceiling because you are the other side. That's where you go when you sleep. You go within and within is the other side. To go within is to go without also. To go within is to go higher. That's why Christ in the scripture says, don't look around, don't look here, don't look there. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Go inside. There you go again, those are the stars. That's the portal. You are the hole in the ceiling. Daydream. Live your dream. Walk your dream during the day. The problem is why things don't come fast enough for us, why things don't come fast enough for me, is because I fail to daydream. I get so caught up in the world around me during the day, the physical world, that that actually takes up a big portion of my mind, even though I have to attend to my day-to-day, -day, just like you have to attend to your day-to-day. -day. You still want to have that dream on loop inside even if you have to put it in the back of your mind make sure that that loop is there because the longer you can daydream and the more detail try to include all of your senses you can imagine with every sense you have you can imagine not just sight you can you can imagine a smell you can imagine a taste you can imagine a, a, a feeling you can imagine these things bring all the tones of reality to what it is you want What's going to end up happening also is you're going to start to feel lighter because you're going to start to lose density. You're going to start to improve in ethereal quality. You're going to become more light than flesh, so to speak, and you're going to feel lighter. So go ahead and daydream. Dream all day. Don't space out. Space in. All right. So that's that's how you hold on and that's how you speed up some uh, your results for what you want. And again, it's going to shield out those negative things that make you of a heavier density. It'll make you more uh, more glued to the ground uh, than just being uh, grounded as in foundation and being immovable. There's a certain part, the way you handle your day and your physical life, being attentive, being responsible. This keeps you grounded where you won't get swept away. But you don't want to be so heavy in density where you're depressed and you feel glued to the earth because the earth is only so strong. Eventually, you're going to sink and you know what goes underground. Dead people, corpses go underground. Souls don't souls don't necessarily exist in the earth when we're talking about the symbolic physical death of a human being. You know, they either get cremated or they get buried. But either way. The spirit is not what's going down. That's this. That's just the shell. But so when you daydream, you make yourself light enough not to sink into the death of your own thinking, the death of your own circumstances, and live in a death life that will draw you closer to the grave subsequently. So go ahead and work those night dreams out during the day. Use every se every second you have. Treat every second you have as precious. It's not just enough to say, I'm taking it day by day. Sometimes you got to say, I'm taking it hour by hour. Sometimes you have to say, I'm taking it minute by minute. And when you're really close to the goal, you can even dare to say, I'm taking it second by second. I'm trying to be the first to every second. So there you have it. Daydream, but don't space out. Space in. Peace.